with me now is Terry. Just tell us about, of course, what kind of response have we had today coming back into, into training after a tough couple of results? Yeah, so personally I've seen from the boys that they're ready to go back out there and show to people that they're actually ready to work hard and show them that, yeah, this is not over. We want to win more games in the future. Of course, the Cup's over for us now for another year, but there's so many league games to come. How much does that challenge excite you? Uh, yeah, for me personally, it's like looking forward to helping the team get as high as possible and when the Cup is over, so now all we need to do is focus on the league games. So, of course, you know, we announced the deal. Um, you've been here for, for a little while as well. How did the move come about for you? Uh, to be honest, it's been like, so I, I personally think I've done well in the 23s and I was trying to look for a men's, men's football and get a little bit of experience under my belt. And then I've been also doing a little bit of research and he said that Robo also plays and players. So it's a good opportunity for me to just come here and show my talent. What about in terms of the story, in terms of doing your own research, what did you find about the club that, that really sort of struck a thing with you? Well, the, first of all, the thing that is the greatest story in English football, that's just amazing, reading the stuff and listening to it, it's just want to carry on the greatest story in football. And you mentioned Robert, of course, there as well. I mean, you know, he's got a good track record of developing young players, the likes of Jack Rodoni, A. Vassal. It's young teams. How important was that to you in that aspect? Yeah, so knowing that he's already got a track record of growing up like uh, young players. So for me personally, it's like a great opportunity to come here and be one of the next ones of the young players that gets up there. What's he said that he wants from you? What can you bring that's kind of different to the role as well of playing up front? Well, to be fair, he's just said to me that just come here and express yourself and help us as much as you can. And he's also said that he wants me to run in behind a lot. And of course, as well, at the same time of coming here, you'd also just signed a new deal with Fulham. What, what do they want you to gain from this experience as well? So, yeah, signing there was a big honour for me as well and my family. And it's also like they want me to get myself going and get some first improvement under my belt and get me as the best best player I could be. So looking at a little bit about your, your background, of course, born in Ghana, but you've you know represented Finland. Tell us about that. Yeah, so it's like I was playing football in Ghana, but my dad lived in Finland. So then when I was old enough, I just moved to my dad and started playing football in Finland. And I've seen Finland as a home country at the moment. So it's just easy to re represent the country. And it's a huge honour to represent the country. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, you've got that attachment with it now. How much does it mean to you to, to, to play for Finland? Oh, it's, it's like a huge honour. I can't explain how much I want to go there and put a Finnish shirt on and show people that, yes, Finland is actually a great football country. And in terms of Fulham as well, I mean, the kind of uh, club that it is, you know, a lot of tradition there as well, a lot of great players, coaches, who've kind of really influenced you there? Yeah, so there's a lot of coaches, but I think my personal... Someone that helped me a lot is Steve Wigley, and the 23's manager. He's always been there and getting me through stuff hard and not hard, so he's always been there to support me for everything. Yeah, because I mean, an ex player himself as well, is it sort of that advice has really helped you in the early stages of your career? Yeah, I think because he's an ex player, so he also knows how it's been and what it takes to get there, so it's also good for me to listen to people that actually know and experience it themselves. And you've touched upon it as well, what kind of are your strengths as a striker? So my strengths are pretty much I'm quick, strong and great finisher. How important was this move for you at this, this stage in your career now? I think it's very important to get men's football under my belt with a young squad. So it's just go there and show them the best I can do. Fans at this club play a massive role. They've helped get the club back. They've taken it back to its, its stadium, its home in Player Lane. Have you got a message for them? Yeah, so I'm just saying to the fans that we appreciate all their effort and support and never give up on us and just see where we get ourselves into. What have the boys been like? Have you been, been settling in well with them, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the boys are nice. It's to like a great big family and it's just been nice being around everyone. And in terms of this Saturday, playing at home to Morecambe, it's going to be our first home league game for nearly 50 days. Um, you know, how much are you looking forward to, to getting out there, sampling the atmosphere and, and hopefully getting on and making your day here? Oh, I'm looking forward. It's, it's like, it will be a huge honour to put a Wimbledon shirt on and go there and show people that 
I'm actually capable of and also getting the club where they belong. Brilliant, Terry, welcome to Wimbledon. Thank you. Nine. Terry Abladi. 20. Striker. I was born in Ghana, but I was brought up in Finland. PE. Basketball. Dubai. Uh, John of Rice. Chelsea. Not really, no. Kobe Bryant. Krishna Ronaldo. Uh, Lil TJ. Kirk Ronaldo Basketball. I don't watch TV programs. Uh, Apex Legends. Lamborghini. I spend all my family and support people around me. Basketball player. Not seeing my family and friends and stay, have to stay home all the time.